a backhand if you want to. And come up, or you can also go front hand over. Okay, and this is just going to give you a full 360 degree. Now the double figure eight plus the back is just an add-on. Okay, it's flashy. It's cool. You could probably use it in a battle in certain scenarios, but unlikely to at the same time. So, uh, but anyways, uh, next thing you need to learn how to do is how to switch hand to hand. Okay, I probably should show this before the, the double figure eight, but that's all right. What you do is you take your saber hand, and you spin it, and when you come up like that, you're spinning. What you're doing is palm comes up against it, and you grab. Okay, you can do this over and over again until you get this down. Okay, this is another practice you can use. Okay, so watch. Holding in my hand, palm, okay, so I have it forward. I spin, I come up to this side, underneath my palm, right between my thumb and index, I grab. Okay, my pinky is now where my thumb was. And then I can go palm, thumb and index again, grab. My thumb was where my pinky was. Okay? So that's how you switch your hands. Okay? Um, switching your hands behind your back, though, is a little different because I can spin. I'll have to grab like this. So unwind. Okay? You'll have to spin to do it. So there you go. I'll show you what that looks like again. Okay? Um, but you can also do this, where it comes behind your back, you can go up with it, do grab it like this, okay? Or you can go down with it, and grab it like this. Basically what you do is you spin again, and you just come up, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like right now. Alright, you can come up, you can grab it, or you can just go down with it, and grab it, and you can come across, or you can stay in this position, and go straight, okay? This is a more of a show-off move, uh, and Anakin did a similar thing, where he just goes like this, and he just goes, and blasts a joyous uh, deflection. Uh, uh, blasts Deflects a droid's blaster, okay? And destroys it. Whereas you can do the same thing if you're doing uh, something, okay? And you just go behind your back like this. Basically, this motion in itself is an orbit. It goes 360 degrees, okay? And then you can grab. Then you go with your left hand, and now you're ready to go on this side, okay? Next thing to do, I've done this in my other video, is pivoting your feet. Pivoting your feet is very easy. Make an L shape with your feet. Right foot pointing forward and left foot pointing left. Make your right foot point left and your left foot point that way forward. Now I'm facing this way. Just undo what you did. I'm facing back at you. Okay? Now if you're going to pivot to the right, all you do is just slide your back foot. Now I can pivot this way. I'm facing left. Okay? Now if I'm in this position and I just want to pivot left, okay, I have to move my right foot forward. Okay? Pivoting is very easy once you get used to it. And this is very, very crucial to what you're going to be doing in practice runs. Okay? So, um, next thing you need to learn is... Once you get all that down, you should be able to, okay, alright, like that. Now, like I said, it's a small area, so, <laughs> um, but you should be able to get a 360 degree rotation on your entire body, okay, um, and you should be able to seamlessly just
just do that. Okay, just to switch hands. Should be able to do it very easily after that. Okay. Um. But now you've got that all down. You're gonna have to get more practice with striking. Okay, so you gotta get fast. So, all right, strike, strike, strike. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. All right. Now you can also go like this. One, two, three, two blocks. Okay? You can also go one and two. It's a, it's a slice. It's really a slice. Then a stab. Okay? Okay? One and two. And yes, you have to go one and two. Because you are combining it, so you have to have an and. Okay, it's not one, two, three. It's one and two. Besides, most of this is going to be one and two. Um, let's see here. Um, as of right now, that is actually just the basic. Okay? If you really want to get your legs limber for a battle, you're going to really, really hate me if you, if you even try this. Okay? Do what I do normally. And to get your leg to be kicking, do slow kicks first, 50 times. So, one, two, three, okay? But if you really want to get good at it, one, and hold. Now, I bring my arm back, okay? That's a habit for me. Um... Don't know why it just is. I have a bad habit. I mean, I can go. Okay. For some reason, that's just kind of habit for me. Just because I'm used to holding a saber in my hand. <laughs> so. Um, and then do a side kick. Oh. Careful there. That was, I don't know. I thought I was stepping on something. Hold and down. Hold and down. Okay? And that's about it. Okay? Uh, what I did before was called a straight kick. Uh, this is actually called a forward kick. A straight kick is where you, uh, is, it's the Taekwondo, okay? Basically, what you do is you bring your leg up, over, straight down. It's the concept of scratching someone's nose with your shoe. Okay? And you hold it like this. Okay? Because you can also go. Okay? So, it just depends. Okay? And if you don't want to go karate kid, you know. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Uh, but, anyways. So this is just another kind of thing, you know, just kind of get uh, more exercise into it, get repetitious. Once you get down with your front kicks, kind of move around. You got to move around, okay? Get a rhythm. Okay? Get a rhythm every time. Okay? So, so that's basically it for now, you guys. Um, and... I think next time I'll do more of a combinations video, you know, uh, techniques and stuff like that. So, hope you all enjoy this video.